hello amazing people welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by this is daisy right here uh again thank you okay for all of your love your support i am very grateful so today let's talk about what is cooking okay so uh i'm going to be talking about how you can teach english while living in brazil okay so i'm not gonna waste your time because it's just gonna be pretty straight um so to teach english in brazil now we're talking about how to get a job right so now we're going into the teaching aspect of getting a job in brazil now there are several ways you can teach english in brazil you can either teach in brazil like you're going to work in brazil like you're going to an institute english institute in brazil like you're going on site walking to your workplace in brazil to teach english or you can teach english online now your employer can be from any part of the world when it comes to teaching online okay so uh yeah so your employer might be from america can be from uh, latin america it all depends on what type or, or what company you get your uh, english teaching job from what matters the most is a lot of companies offer uh english uh, uh, uh teaching english uh online uh, from different parts of the world okay so now today i'm going to introduce you to a particular company that recruits a whole lot okay they practically recruit almost every week okay they are called uh, uh english for kids okay english for kids yeah i'm gonna put it somewhere right there english for kids that's the name of the company they're based in latin america and they do organize interviews okay regularly on a daily basis i'm gonna put the link in my description box below uh you just need to click on the link fill in the forms they are gonna send you another link to choose your appointment date where you can have your interview with them online of course because they are in you know they're outside of brazil so don't be afraid they are very very solid company you can work with okay so they are very real they're very serious it's just like the same thing like you're going to normal your normal job all your processes are just like you are going into your normal job in the country that you find yourself okay so the agreement the contracts the signing of everything everything is very very serious so you don't need to be scared of is it just a shabby type of way to get a job no it's actually a very serious job is it i think english for kids or teaching english for kids T english for kids i'm going to put it right there for you to see so now when you book your appointment with them they will send you another link for you to click on in order for you to write a placement test you're going to make sure that they want to test your english speaking abilities okay so you have to make sure that you get like an 80 okay 80 percent for you to proceed into the uh into the uh into the main main interview okay so when you're done with writing that test already remember you already booked an appointment on the day of your appointment the time of your appointment you have to appear online they, they're gonna give you uh the link to meet up on zoom for you to have your um for you to have your uh interview with them so now i'm going to give you tips on what to expect okay on that day you will there are lots of people a lot of people are always there attending the interview with you as well you're going to be communicating with the main person handling the whole thing she's going to he or she's going to talk to you guys and after that uh, they're going to leave you guys to interact with each other while they go and start bringing people in into another room to have one-on-one -on -one interview with every individual okay present there so um and after that when it's your turn these are the things to expect you expect um they will ask you questions they will be checking your spoken english they will check your grammar they will check how you compose your sentences and also and they will ask you questions past tense present tense and they, they will tell you to spell okay um for example what is the past tense of uh uh what is the past tense of anything let's say hi uh, let's say uh uh i don't know let's just say today okay let's say whatever the, the past tense is i don't know what example to give right now uh um they might ask you the what's the past tense of this when you say it you get it right they will now tell you to spell that word itself so you're expected to have that done so make sure you compose yourself make sure you speak well make sure you are able to get you make sure you are able to answer the questions like past tense and present tense and make sure you're able to spell okay so at the end of the day you're still going to be asked to teach to gesticulate to teach uh the 
the interviewer will pretend to be a child because it's a school for children, English school for children, online English school for children. So the, the interviewer will pretend to be a student. So you will have to teach, okay? You have to show the interviewer you can carry a child along. You can teach them to tell you to choose between maybe, for example, colors and maybe body parts. So you choose a topic, whatever topic that suits you, you choose. Um, and then the interviewer will first of all demonstrate to you how to go about it and then you will look and then after that you, you, you try yours. So subsequently, if they find that you are cool, they are cool with you, you get employed and then the next step will be the training. The salary isn't that bad at all. It's something you can manage on. Okay. Um, the next step will be to start your training. They'll give you a date for your training. If you succeed in all of the training, you'll be paid for the training. But it's a very rigorous training, so you have to be very ready. They will train you according to their methodology, what they do, um, you know, how they do things in their own company. They will teach you everything step by step, and then you will have presentations, okay? Uh, you will have to present according to the topics they teach you every time. I think you have that presentation like three times or so before you now move into the next stage, which will be for them to start supplying you with uh students or something of that nature okay so you have to be very smart when it comes to presentation you have to follow the steps the the methodology they use you know the method they use to teach children they approach everything you have to follow so for every teaching you have to do a presentation like you're teaching the class the same thing for every other person so i'm just giving you this hint so you're very aware so english for kids is a company it's an amazing company you can join to find and they pay really you know reasonably well i think it's five hours a day um they give to you five hours a day uh, one hour for one dollar uh, sorry one hour five dollars okay five hours a day so you can calculate there are other benefits as well there is paid leave one month paid leave but the one month will be split into i don't know different times you can take one week now you can take two weeks later or something of that nature but it's going to be paid and there's also three holidays paid three holidays in the year and things like that they have a lot of benefits okay so you can try that out yeah so you can be living in brazil or living in any part of the world or latin america whatever part in america and still be a teacher online teaching children uh yeah achieving your dream of becoming an educator so um yeah you can also find teaching jobs uh, if you don't want to work for in, uh, English for Kids, you can also work for other companies. And where can you get these companies from? LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an amazing website, job website that works very well in Brazil. Like they post teaching jobs there back to back. So you might want to try that out. Uh, and also you have to subscribe for their job notification. If you subscribe for the job notification, when it requires you to put like a job you want them to notify you about, you put English teacher. Do you understand? So whenever there are available jobs, it will go straight into your email. You will see them and then you can always go to apply. Um, it's pretty easy. And they always have teaching jobs because in this part of the world, in the Americas, all this Latin, uh, South America, English is very, it's a very it's a big deal here they don't speak english that much so they always always need need english teachers english for kids as a company is is uh, is really is very is a good company because they at least they pay reasonably well yeah it's okay it's okay it's better than some companies some companies are better than the other okay some people still pay way better like ten dollars an hour but english for kids pay five dollars an hour there are other ones Okay, I'll put it in my description. If I find other ones, I'll add them all to it. Click on the links and begin your application right away. So like I was saying, LinkedIn, go register on LinkedIn. You will find a lot of teaching jobs there, a lot of companies ready to hire you to work online as an, as an English teacher. Okay, so I hope this video helps you. So if you want to live in Brazil or any part of the Americas and you find it difficult to get a job, and you want to teach English, you might want to teach English. Or if you're already a teacher, you just want to, you just want something that will keep you busy but you want to remain at home without going out of your house you want to teach from home or work from home english teaching english online is one of the best okay if you also want to teach in the country that you find yourself maybe for example brazil you can also do that a lot of jobs are on linkedin that you can find both on site and online okay so thank you so much i hope this video helps you if you have questions for me put it down in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to 
reply you thank you again have an amazing day everybody bye